Another issue I'm going to be looking at this afternoon while I've got the soldering iron out is this white cable that runs through here. It comes from what appears to be an aftermarket regulator on there. I don't know why it's there but the bike is working so for the time being I'm going to run with the system that it's set up with. Uh, this cable I know was a little bit tight and uh, halfway down it we have a twisted wire joint. So I took the liberty of ordering in some fresh fresh white cable. Um, so I'm going to extend this cable from this point uh, using the new wire uh, but I'm going to double the length of this that gives us a bit more um, wiggle room. Um, it can always be trimmed down at a later date but for now I'm going to do that and instead of having insulation tape I'm going to have um, some uh, heat shrink. Because this is an important um, junction I have um, tinned and then soldered in the cable to the uh, double connector prior to crimping it just for added security and this is the same connector after I've crimped it so I've got a nice neat solid join and again the same connector after heat shrinking so hopefully that will give us a nice positive solid power feed so now that we've um, converted this to being a two point um, uh, bullet connector holder um, originally that cable was spliced into uh, this cable here with one of those horrible blue blocks um, and that cable continued on to this melted terminal connector so I suspect we've had a bit of a uh, dry joint there and that then connected to the high beam low beam switch um, can I help you? Right, I continue after being rudely interrupted by the cat. Um, so yes, so effectively the high-low um, cable from the switch on the handlebars comes down and should join into this melted terminal. Um, and we had the white cable spliced into that for whatever reason. Um, that's where it was. So um, I'm going to work around. I've got the double cable on the white cable. The double connector on the white cable and I'm going to fit two bullet connectors one here and one here that will then plug into that and hopefully we'll have um, a good circuit from that okay I think we're there um, we've got the white cable with the double connector on it we have got uh, one set of switches uh, this one is the uh, high beam on off switch no it's not it doesn't matter it's one of the switches and on the other side we've got the other side of it and these will plug into that one and here we have that three-way connector again the extended piece of uh, heat shrink there is where there was damage to the cable uh, where the uh, crimp connector not crimp connector I don't know splice connector was attached so I just um, covered my ass by putting a bit of heat shrink over the area where it cut through the um, shroud shroud I'm so tired right now, I don't care. Through the sheath of the cable. Um, so yeah, so they plug in, they're nice and firm. It's not a pretty connector, it's a bit like the 4-in-1 that I made earlier. Um, but I think the heat shrink is far less likely to move than the supplied silicon type shrouds that come with these. Um, so I'm going to stick with these for, for now. If they prove to be problematic, I can always change them. But um, it's a much better connector and connection than the one we had before and it does away with the melted terminal where I guess oxidization of the terminals caused excessive heat buildup. So um, Maggie wants feeding so I'm going to call it a night. What do you say Mags? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nothing to say, it's not like you. Okay, so Maggie's hungry. Uh, my dining room table is an absolute uh, tip, so I've had enough for one night. It's time for a beer. What do you think, Maggie? Time for a beer? No? Okay. <laughs>